you clicked on this video, you are a fan of Nana Banana Pro. And I wanna give you six reasons why using Nana Banana in Kittle is actually better than just using the model in Gemini or in Google or wherever else. And let's walk through each of these. And by the end, if you haven't tested it yet, there's no harm in going and signing up to Kittle for free. And if you're already a Kittle user, then maybe you got to learn something that was maybe hidden or hacked that you didn't know about. And let's get started. So the first one is that we can create more realistic images with Nana Banana Pro, specifically in the 4K. So we have all of the models of Nana Banana in Kittle. We have the original, just Nana Banana, which is really, really great at variating, making a variation of something or changing components about something. But we also have the Pro version, which is a lot better for graphics. And then the 4K version, which is incredible at generating realistic imagery. So you can create some amazing concept schemes or importing something like a product image and then generating it across a multiplicity of backgrounds or changing the composition of the lighting. The second reason is because with Kittle's Remix feature, along with using Nana Banana Pro, you can combine images to get much better results. In the past, the previous models have struggled significantly with either combining reference material together or taking a subject from one image and putting it in another. But with the Remix feature, you can simply just drag your mouse over two images and prompt that you would like these two subjects to be together or like the lighting from image A to be on image B. And it's so fast and so easy. And the third reason is, well, with the Remix, again, you can edit individual pieces about an image, creating variations or tweaking it without having to regenerate the image again. So with Remix and Nana Banana or Nana Banana Pro selected, you can take your original image and simply change the little features or components that you want to retaining the complete consistency. So if it's a character and you want to change the jacket color, you can simply prompt that with Remix. It will retain the image completely and just change that one individual thing. All right, the fourth reason I kind of hinted at it is being able to prompt the kind of post design or streetwear design or any kind of design and Nana Banana Pro or Nana Banana Pro 4K if you're trying to get a mock-up is really good at distilling typography, direction, using uh, stylistic terms like Bauhaus or retro or something like that to get more of what you're looking for. But with Nana Banana Pro specifically, you can actually start generating graphics. And I don't mean graphics only in like a full design. So like just a poster design, but actually like illustrations. And we have this library of styles in Kittle where you can go in and you can see the different styles that are perfect for the model. For example, if you're trying to get clip art, if you're trying to get typography, if you're trying to get a logo design, whatever kind of graphic you're looking for, there is a style for it. And when you select it, it selects that specific model that works like a Nana Banana Pro or for something like that. And you can start generating graphics for your projects or anything else that you need. Another reason I love using Nana Banana in Kittle is you can easily change the aspect ratio of an image by just asking it to extend or change the square to be a nine by 16 or a 16 by nine. And because Nana Banana Pro is so good at kind of like auto generating the rest of an image, you can turn your square images or your portraits into a full horizontal or a story size or a square size, whatever you need. You can actually go reverse. You can take a long image and see what it would look like in a square version. I actually tried this with taking a design that was kind of like a wider uh, box, like horizontal design. And I said, show me what this would look like on a square box. Make sure all the text and everything is together. And it actually did a pretty good job. So this is just another reason why you could go try and flip back and forth between a bunch of different tools, but you can do all of these things that I'm talking about right within Kittle. All right, and the last reason that I think Nana Banana is incredible, specifically in Kittle, is that you can enhance your images and they are crispy 4K clear. I did a video on this already with a couple of different examples and just using Kittle's Remix feature, again, I'm selecting an image that's maybe a low resolution uh, picture of someone that I know or maybe a client sends you a logo that's like a JPEG that's really fuzzy, I can simply hit that remix tool, type in make this image super clear 4K resolution. And if I have Nana Banana Pro 4K selected, because again, we have all the Nana Bananas in there, 
and I give it a little bit of time to generate, I mean, it just is incredible the way that it's enhancing, the way that it's upscaling the image. And then I can do with it what I want. I can keep making variations of it. I can put it into a different style. I can vectorize it if it's a graphic, for example. And this is a really, really strong feature, especially as a designer and in a design tool to use the AI features of Kittle and Nana Banana together to then go about your project. So I invite you to try it. If you don't have Kittle yet, hopefully I've given you a reason to go and sign up. You can do that for free. You have tokens for the AI that you can use for free. Give it a test, see what you like. If you have other questions about Kittle or the AI models, please drop those down in the comments. We can make future videos on them. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos like this. And we will see you in the next one.